Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a, another Sony Vegas tutorial. I'm not quite sure what this one is going to be called, um, but it's going to be a more in-depth version, if any of you know the one I did last time, my most viewed video I'd like to mention. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of questions on that one, so I want to make another video going more in-depth, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to pretty much edit like all your favorite gaming YouTubers. And if this video is long, I don't know how long it's going to be, but if it is very long, then trust me, it's worth it. Just watch the whole thing, okay? This is designed to help people who have never edited a video before and have been editing videos and they want to up their work a little bit. If you have never edited a video, I recommend starting with my other tutorial and then coming to this one. If you're going to have a face cam in your video, which likely you are, um, you're going to have it in two separate files. I record all mine on my phone, so you can see I have this right here. This is the face cam for the video. Um, I just recorded a short test video, so it's only like a minute long. If you don't have a face cam, then just don't listen to what I'm saying right now, I guess. And then, of course, the gameplay itself. And, uh, when you record your gameplay, you're gonna want to record your desktop audio and your microphone audio on two separate tracks. If you guys don't know how to do it, it varies on what program you're using, but uh, it's pretty easy, so you guys should be able to just look it up and get a quick answer on YouTube. But what that does is allows you to adjust both levels of audio, and it allows you to edit your microphone to sound good and everything. In this case, I'm not going to be editing my microphone, I'm just going to be using the raw file. So now that I have these two, I'm going to open up Sony Vegas. Once you have Sony Vegas open, I would say a few things to keep in mind is uh, in the project properties right here, uh, set your full resolution rendering quality to best and do resample mode to disable resample. And of course, uh, 1080p, 60 FPS, make sure you have a template with that 1920 by 1080. And then right here, you can see frame rate and 59 point whatever 60 fps so now i'm going to go ahead and drag my clips in here my mic actually recorded super quiet um so this is a good time to tell you guys if that ever happens to you go over here to the volumes and decibels and just uh, bump that up or you can right click on properties and check normalize and that will also bump it up. So in the beginning of your recording, you're gonna wanna clap. I always do a big clap, and that's how I sync up my webcam and my actual gameplay. I just clap because it's a very audible thing to see. As you can see, that is the clap right there. You can see it right there, and you can see it right there. So that makes it pretty easy for me to sync up because I can just drag it like that, zoom in a little bit there, and then I can find where it is, and you pretty much line them up, and then you give it a listen and make sure that it actually is a Aligned. Welcome back everyone. Today we are the so boom that's aligned. So now what I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to want to sync it all up. To do that, you just hold control, click all of them, and then press G. And then after I do that, I'm going to want to delete the microphone off of the camera because obviously you want to hear your desktop microphone and not the one on the camera. So now you can see uh, it's all synced up and you have my camera with the microphone that's hooked up to my PC. Welcome back everyone. Today we are playing more Minecraft. Um, as you know by the context of this, this isn't a real video. So as you can see now, you can't see the actual gameplay itself because the face cam's taking up the whole thing. And I'm going to teach you how to actually just put that in the corner and make it look like what all YouTubers have it like. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to the event pan slash crop and then uncheck size about center and lock aspect ratio. And then after you do that, you can just grab these bars over here and you can kind of crop it out to what you like. So obviously we have a lot of free room on this side, so I'm just going to cut that. We have some at the top too, so I'm just going to cut that down. And then you see that looks like a pretty decent face cam. After you do that, you're going to want to go to the track that your face cam is on. You're going to want to click more, track motion, and just enlarge that a little bit. And then you can just grab this right here and you see you can shrink it, move it, and just throw that in the corner. So now you see you have this right here. Welcome back everyone. Today we are playing more Minecraft. Um, as you know by the context of this, this isn't a real video. Uh, otherwise, I'd be trying a bit harder on my commentary, but, um... If this were a real video, what I would do is obviously cut off the point where I clap and everything. You just click 
press S and then you can delete that right there because of course you want your video to start when you start talking and uh, now let's get to the edits so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to use the sapphire plugins I taught you guys how to do a shake last time and uh, the sapphire plugin it has a lot of stuff but it also has a really nice shake that makes it easier where it's just a preset you don't have to do anything and it looks way nicer than when you do it yourself and also it's a lot of other stuff too but we're gonna be focusing mainly on the shake i'm not gonna show you guys how to get it um because i'm actually don't remember but look up how to get the sapphire plugins for sony vegas on youtube and come back to this when you do because trust me they're worth it and making it look a lot nicer and you should definitely go get them they might cost money but just search how to get it for free after you get them i'm gonna want to go into video effects and search for shake and what's gonna pop up is s underscore shake one thing to mention whenever i do this it inverts the colors like if i show you guys right now i put it on that and it inverts the colors i will show you guys how to fix that that doesn't happen to everyone but it happens for me um, but I will show you guys how to fix that. So say I want this intro right here. I want the screen to be shaking for some reason, even though uh, it shouldn't be. I'm just going to cut it like that. And then say I want it to start with a full screen of my webcam. I just make uh, a thing like that, put it up, reset it. And you see that now or Minecraft, um, I'll probably zoom in a little bit, which I taught in the first one, but you're going to want to make sure both of these are actually checked for that. And you just grab the corners and zoom like that. And while I'm at it, uh, a lot of you guys asked how to do like a slower zoom. And, uh, the way to do that is you go down in the timeline here, you click a point and then you zoom in. And as you can see, if I go and look, welcome back everyone today, we are it will do it more slowly and if you drag it out then it will take longer welcome back everyone today we are playing more but now let's apply the shake there's a lot of presets i like the one and then we crash because that's like the craziest one as you can see by this little preview so like i said uh the way to fix if it inverts the colors is you just want to search invert on your video effects grab s underscore invert put it on and just check those bad boys right there and then it'll be normal colors again so now if i look at this shake welcome back everyone today we are playing more minecraft wowee that is intense but yeah that's how you do a nice looking shake and it looks pretty professional it doesn't look all choppy and it looks smooth and it's kind of something that you really can't achieve by yourself so this plugin is really nice now i'm going to teach you all the funny face effects like the one where it swirls and the one where your face gets big like the big brain whoa Minecraft is pretty fun. So say during that point, I want my face to do that funny swirl thing. I'm just going to want to cut it out. And then like I showed you guys before, this is optional. But whenever I do effects like that, I like putting it full screen for a second. It really adds to the effect, I feel. So you just drag it up to the other video track you have for that. And then you just right click restore. So it, it, it's full screen. So once again, in your video effects, you're going to want to search just swirl. And you can see this is it right here. So it looks a little bit too intense at first. So just grab the amount and then twist that down a lot and see, wow, that looks amazing. And you can also move it around if it's not in the right place with this little thing right here. And like, whoa, the screen's shaking right now. All right, apparently I did that for myself for the screen to shake, but I already showed that to you guys earlier. So I'm gonna do the other face effect now. So pretend I said some big brain, really big brain right here. So I gotta give myself the big brain effect. Now that we got it back up into there, once again, video effects. And now you're gonna wanna search sphere eyes. Grab that right there. Of course, might be a little too intense depending on who you are. You can move it wherever you want. You can make it look stupid like this. Big brain is the most common thing. I might turn that down a little. And now this is our final product. And like, whoa, the screen's shaking right now. Now I'm gonna be teaching you voice effects as well. One voice effect a lot of people use in combination with the swirl is like the thing where the voice like fluctuates and goes up and down. I taught you guys how to do that in a different video, but you probably haven't seen that tutorial. So I'm going to teach you how to do it here. You go to the voice right there. You click FX and then you can go into vibrato add. Just click OK right there. And then you're going to want to grab this middle thing on the graph and put it, uh, I don't know, about three, four semitones, whatever you want. And you're going to grab the modulation frequency and put it like somewhere around here, eight. I don't know. It's kind of subjective, really. Just somewhere around that area. And you can see this is what it sounds like now. Whoa. And then another voice effect people do is reverb. And uh, I usually use that a lot. And it just makes things 
funnier, I guess. Effects, reverb this time, pretty obvious. And I usually use Rich Hall as the preset. Maybe you can turn it up a little bit and then uh, let's see what this sounds like. like whoa, the screen. So obviously that was quick. You're probably supposed to leave it for longer. I'll just drag that out real quick to show you guys what it would have sounded like. And like whoa, the screen. So you can see a little bit of reverb in there. Um, but besides that, that's uh, really all I was going to teach you guys today. I hope with this information, you can go on and make some professional YouTube videos. I tried to provide everything that I should provide for you guys. Once again, to better understand this one, I would definitely watch the first tutorial I made because it's more focused towards beginners. This is trying to get your videos a little better. But, you know, that's how to do all the things that all the popular people do. I let, I let out all their secrets. I'm sorry. If this video video helped you out in any way, make sure to definitely drop a subscription. We've been on our grind and we really appreciate any support. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And besides that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.